Welcome in folks to another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some helpful tips and tricks when it comes to leveling up during double XP weekends in Fallout 76. But before we get into the video, if you can remember to hit that like button so that more people in the Fallout 76 community can see this, and if you feel you're missing out on videos, consider clicking that bell notification button so that you can keep up to date whenever I post a new video. So as always folks, let's get into it. So if you haven't heard already, double XP is right around the corner, and in particular, it will be coming up on May 19th to May 22nd. So today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best ways you can utilize and maximize your XP gain during this weekend. First off, we'll take a look at one of the main ways you can boost your XP, and that's the amount of intelligence points you have allocated into your character. For any new players to the game, intelligence will affect the overall amount of XP your character can earn, and the higher your intelligence, the more XP you will accumulate. With the build I've put together here, I've made this somewhat of an XP grinding build, and as you can see, the amount of points I have allocated into intelligence is 15. If you have the ability to equip and also max out the legendary intelligence perk card, you can boost this up to 20. Now, as you can see, my character's intelligence is currently sitting at 45, and that's because my character currently has five pieces of unyielding armor equipped, as when at low health, this will boost each of my special points up by three, including my intelligence. So if you're a bloody build, double XP weekends will be extremely beneficial. Now, rest assured, you don't have to be a bloody build to maximize your intelligence or your special stats. There are other ways. It's just unfortunately, you might not be hitting the same numbers as you can see here on screen. Now, one of the other reasons why my intelligence is sitting at 45, and this brings me on to my next topic, and that's because of the food and aid buffs I'm currently utilizing. Some of the best consumables you can use for any double XP weekend can be the likes of, and if you have the herbivore mutation, which means when eating vegetable based consumables, you will gain twice the benefits. And that can be the likes of brain bombs, which when used will give you an extra plus six to your intelligence. I will also note that if you join a public team and with the more players on a team, this will increase up to plus eight. And a perk card that helps to boost this is the perk card Strange in Numbers, which when active will make positive mutation effects 25% stronger if teammates are mutated too. The equivalent of brain bombs for people who use the carnivore mutation, which basically means you can only consume meat-based meals and gain twice the benefits, is the likes of broiled scorched beast brains. Another consumable you can also take if you have the likes of the herbivore mutation is the likes of cranberry relish, which when used will boost your XP gain up by 20%. And again, this will increase up to 25% with more players on a team. The equivalent of cranberry relish for any carnivore build is the likes of tasty squirrel stew. Another great consumable you can also use and take is the likes of bobbleheads and magazines. As you can see, if you can find the likes of the bobblehead leaders, this will increase your XP gain up by another 5%. You can also use the likes of magazines like the Live and Love, which will also boost your XP gain. Another tip that I would recommend would be to use the likes of the Well Rested buff, which will give you an extra 5% XP, which just requires you to sleep in a bed. However, I would recommend if you have an ally at your camp, make sure to sleep in your bed at your camp, as this will actually increase the length of time you can utilize this buff. I would also recommend taking a look at some mutations that can give your character a boost to your intelligence, and this is completely optional, but these mutations can be very, very useful. So if you can, make sure to head over to Modus in the science wing of the White Springs Bunker and take a look at the likes of the Egghead mutation, which will increase your intelligence by plus six. However, will negatively impact your strength and endurance. And also take a look at the likes of Herd Mentality, which means when you're on a team, each of your special stats will increase by plus two. However, when solo, each special stat will be impacted by minus two. And as you can see, when I join a team, my intelligence will increase to 49. And again, the perk card Strange in Numbers will really help these mutations flourish. And also, make sure to pop on Class Freak, as when maxed out, the negative effects of your mutations are reduced by 75%. You can also use the likes of Berry Mentats, which means when used, your intelligence will increase even more by plus five, but this will only work for five minutes. However, be very careful as when using Berry Mentats or any chem in quick succession, you may acquire a Mentats addiction. So for any non-junkies builds out there, make sure to pop on and max out the perk card Chem Resistant so that you gain complete immunity to chem addictions. 
Another great perk card to help with that XP boost is also inspirational, as when maxed out, you gain an additional 15% extra XP. And lastly, for any double XP weekends, a great consumable you can use is the likes of lunchboxes, because when you open four lunchboxes, you will gain an additional 100% extra XP, so make sure to stock up on those lunchboxes as much as you can. I would also recommend when possible, there are two great events that you can take part in that will also boost your XP gain, which are Path to Enlightenment, which can be found at the Landview Lighthouse just below Vault 76, which when completed will gain you an additional 5% extra XP, and also the event Feed the People located in Morgantown, which when completed will grant you the consumable Canned Meat Stew which also will increase your XP gain. However, remember, if you have the herbivore mutation, this consumable will not work for you. So overall, folks, with the combination of maximizing my intelligence, my consumables, and my world and XP buffs, you can see that we're going to be receiving quite a lot of XP. And with the addition of double XP being active, you're going to be shooting up in those levels. Now, as you can see, I'm currently at West Tech, which in my opinion, and for a lot of people, is definitely a perfect location for any XP grinding route. However, there are many other locations you can go to, so make sure to utilize everything I've mentioned here in the time you have allocated in wherever location you feel most comfortable. So let's hop into West Tech here and let's test this out. Alrighty folks, so we are now in West Tech. Now, just real quick, I would advise when you pop on back into West Tech, make sure definitely to take another Berry Mentats, just in case if the effect does wear off. And as you can see, our intelligence is now sitting at 54. Now, the other thing I will advise is that yes, when you come into West Tech, technically, the likes of the super mutants and enemies in here might not necessarily be scaled to your particular level. However, I would advise once you clear out West Tech, if you use the likes of the elevator down to the FEV facility, or even if you fast travel out and come back in after a couple of minutes, all the super mutants will have scaled to level 100. But what we're going to do is we're going to test this out here in a couple of super mutants, and we're going to see exactly how much XP that we're actually getting from this. Alrighty, so what do we have here? We've got this little doge. There we go. So 820. Uh, let's take a quick look here. What are we getting from him? We're going to get 1,004. Now, as you can see here, they are a lot lower level. We've got a level 75 here. So we're getting roughly 1,000 XP. Now, this can go up, obviously, if you are killing the likes of one, like level 100 super mutants. This can go up to the likes of even 1,500. And obviously, with double XP active, you can even get this up to the likes of 2,000 XP. So you will obviously be getting quite a lot of XP from these super mutants. Like I said, go around West Tech, clear them out, then come back up and then just essentially rinse and repeat this particular process. So as you can see there, we're pretty much trying to get in and around 1000. But yet again, if you're getting the likes of level 100 super mutants, you will obviously be getting a lot more. Now, I know there's a super mutant that we can actually kill. Hang on a second here. Oh, I'm about to get killed myself. Oh, I got killed. <laughs> I got killed. Like I said, folks, also as well, you can also change this particular build up. If you're not comfortable with being a bloody build, that's no problem at all. You can change this up to something completely different. You know, if you prefer being a high health build. But as I mentioned previously, or a little bit earlier on in the video, you might not necessarily be getting the same amount of intelligence. So obviously, being the likes of a bloody build, that's really, really going to help. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the super mutant that is located at the very top here. You'll see here when we get up. So need to kill this guy here. Get rid of him. Oh, got to reload. Uh, come on, let's go. There we go. Got him. Alrighty, so we're still, obviously we're not in sneak. So let's get rid of all these real quick before we, we go up here. Just to see exactly how much XP we're actually getting from... Uh, from this particular level 100. Oh my god. Yeah, we're not in sneak anymore. <laughs> sneak. But we're going. We don't need sneak. Alrighty, so let's proc into a bloody build again real quick. So we can get our stats up to... Why is that at 49? Oh yeah, because Barry Men stats. Let's try that again. Still at 49. Oh, wait, no. We're just not quite bloodied. There we go. That should work now. Is that a 54? It is. Alrighty. So let's try and kill this level 100 super mutant. Here we go, we got the doge, 624, hopefully he doesn't kill me straight away. Oh, don't kill me. 
there you go so roughly 1300 xp and as i said before if you join a team and the more players that are on a team all the buffs that we've mentioned here in our effects obviously they will increase so the likes of brain bombs will go up to plus eight also as well your cranberry relish will go up to plus 25 percent so obviously all of this will increase so that's where you're going to be hitting roughly about 1500 1600 and obviously with the likes of double xp active you'll hit in and around about 2000 so this is it folks that is pretty much the build those are pretty much the mutations those are all the tips and tricks so look enjoy it folks i hope Hope you all get um, as much levels as you possibly can. Hopefully you will be able to get to those particular milestones that you've been looking for and enjoy this. So let's do it folks. Let's get to the outro portion of this video and let's wrap things up. Let's do it. And there you have it folks, that's a few tips and tricks when it comes to maximizing your XP during double XP weekends in Fallout 76. And if you liked this video and found it beneficial, consider hitting the subscribe button for more Fallout 76 guide videos in the future. I've now moved to streaming three days a week over on Twitch, so that I can focus more on putting out Fallout content over here on YouTube. So if you want to see my schedule for when I go live, I want to see guides like this in action, or even just want to hang out with some of the Fallout community, I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the description below. If you want to also connect with more people who play Fallout 76 and want to join our community, you can join my Discord server, which I'll leave in a link in the description below. If you like the work I produce and want to support me in a more personal way, you can now subscribe to me on Patreon. Patreon members will get a host of benefits such as access to Patreon-only channels in my Discord server, where you can connect with other Patreon members and much more. I want to also say a massive thank you to all of my supporters, because with your help and as mentioned before, I've recently become a Bethesda brand ambassador. So if you find yourself purchasing any items from the Bethesda gear store and want to support me, you can use my code BTPINEAPPLE76 to receive 20% off your purchases at checkout. I will note that the code on screen will expire May 17th, so to you, the fans and the supporters, enjoy. However, if you're watching this video after May 17th, the code on screen will have expired. However, I'll make sure to update my code at the end of each of my videos, so make sure to check out future content. I want to also say a massive thank you to all of my followers over on Twitch and here on YouTube, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland, and I'll catch you all in the next video.